Welcome to Chris McGraw. Today we got a little, uh, yeah, some schooling for you. We're going to be talking about top knot steer, or formerly known as bump steer. Y'all stick around. First of all, to understand pop knot steer, you got to understand toe. If we're looking at the top of your tires here, like your car is right here, this is the front of your car, and this is the top of the tires. If you pull a measure from the center of this tire to the center of this tire, this measurement in here is the track width on the front. If you measure from the back, this measurement back here. The difference between the two is your toe. If this number, just for instance, is 61 and this number is 62 that means you've got one inch of toe in which is bad so with that being said hop knot steer is when your suspension goes up and down and your toe changes in and out come over here let's do a little checking on it. all right for starters we've got us a front suspension of a race car here we've got this Nice um, bump steer gauge, handmade by an anonymous person. We've got a spring out of the suspension. I've got a jack on here so I can simulate the car going up and down. Up and down. Okay? We can simulate exactly where it's at. Now we do have a center line measurement and I'm gonna measure here so I know where ride height is at. What we're gonna do is I've got my bump steer gauge back here that I fabricated. And we're gonna put up here. I'm gonna show y'all how to read the dial indicator and check your bump steer, real simple process. All right, this is your basic pop knock gauge, bump steer gauge. We're gonna talk a little bit about this. It's hinged at the bottom, so it flops. You've got a idler over here it is just constant. It stays the same distance all the time. It just, uh, it just is going to roll up and down here. And then you've got your dial indicator side. As you can see, we've got a dial indicator right here. And each revolution of this, a hundred thousandths. So you've got to go around two and a half times for a quarter of an inch. First thing we want to do is get the car at ride height. I pulled this measurement before we took the car down and took the springs and all out of it. And there you go, that's ride height. That's where the car is gonna be sitting when it's getting ready to race. You get this zeroed up. This is just your idler. You notice we've got, we've got, uh, this would be pop knock. This would be re, uh, droop, so, or some people say bump and droop. But we're gonna go right here. Now we're gonna get this other side, dial indicator side. Loosen her up, run her up to zero. Just like so. And nothing, nothing fancy, nothing wizardry right now. Not doing anything crazy. I'm just moving it around, finagling it, getting it where it's leaning up against you. Now, as we jack the suspension up and we run this into the bump stage or pop knot stage, this side is gonna stay constant, but whatever toe changes when the suspension travels, this side is gonna move. So we're gonna zero our gauge Just like that, our gauge is on zero. Now what it's gonna do is, if you wanna zoom in right here on this dial indicator, you can watch as we go through the range of motion. Watch this. See, she moved. You say, man, that gauge is moving a lot. 
Now take in mind, one full revolution in this gauge is a hundred thousandths. You figure a quarter of an inch is 250 thousandths. An eighth of an inch is 125 thousandths. So one full revolution is less than an eighth of an inch. So we're talking minute, minute. Sixty-five would be a sixteenth. All right. Now, you see how we moved? She's moving in. So that means that it's towing in as this thing goes up. There you go. Now, what you do when you're checking your uh, pop knot steer is you take these measurements and you adjust this by moving your tie rods, putting shims up and down on your tie rods here and moving your tie rod up and down. What you're doing is you're taking your tie rod and you're changing the angle of your tie rod. And when you change the angle of your tie rod, it affects how the arc is and how your bump steer works. So that's where you do your adjustment at. I'm not gonna go into setting this one because that would take a long time. But that's just a simple little uh, tutorial on, on how we set pop knot steer. So, if you're having trouble with your, with your sticks in the front of your car there, because you got to have all them sticks right. You got to have all them sticks, the geometry and all, and them sticks has got to be just right. Because when you turn the wheel to the left, you want the car to go to the left. You don't want to turn the wheel to the left and the car go to the right. When you drop in the corner, if the, if the suspension moves and the steering wheel goes, the tires go all different crazy way, them sticks is moving all over the place, yeah, that ain't good. Just remember, if you want to check this, you got to have the adjustment first and foremost. If you got an old car and ain't got all the adjustment, it's kind of pointless checking. So, thank you all for watching. And remember, till next time, if she's giving trouble, she's probably going to.